I'd like to be called a sculptor, but I'd probably be called a chainsaw carver. Basically, I've got an artistic background. I also spent a long time doing forestry work, which would entail chopping trees down. Uh, many years ago, my brother, he actually took me along to a chainsaw carving demonstration. I went along and had a go, um, and I was hooked. So rather than carry on chopping trees, my artistic side took over, and uh, I decided basically not to fell trees anymore, but turn them into things. What I'm going to try and do is, is kind of reflect the layers in woodland, so you've got the high canopy and the relative species that you've got within it, just to try and give a hint of the environment we're in. But quite often the sketches are very rough, because once the chainsaw starts, then things start to change. It's kind of freedom, really. I'm not a trained artist in any form. I have no qualifications in art whatsoever, but I have, I guess, I suppose, invented things as I've gone along. Um, so basically the artistic side of it is something that I've developed myself, as opposed to being trained. I suppose it's a case of taking skills, picking them up and using them to whatever end you can use them. The golden rule is the first cut is the last. The squirrel's not right yet, so... Is it ever right for an artist? <laughs> Maybe not, no. No, near enough, but yeah. yeah. And that's how you start. Lots of dust. <laughs> and mouthfuls of wood. And bad technique with the chainsaw, I'm afraid. Which is what it takes sometimes. Right. And that's the problem with chainsaw carving sometimes, you break the rules. So what are the rules that you're breaking? You don't use it upside down. Sometimes I use it the other way around. And you're not supposed to. It's not a good idea. I've been using chainsaws a long time. Um, so maybe you so maybe want it's time to we do talked a about warning? safety. Can yeah. we talk about safety? I've just been carving and I've suddenly thought the one thing we need to talk about is how to be safe with the chainsaw. Yeah. And just a quick obviously chainsaws pretty deadly things and um, luckily I touch wood all the time so that's my hopefully that's my good luck but I don't trust good luck basically I wear a helmet I protect my ears with ear defenders I have eye protection I have chainsaw gloves specifically designed to stop chains I have chainsaw boots on I have chainsaw trousers and I won't use a chainsaw without them and you use the chainsaw like a pencil. Now this chainsaw is a bit like a pencil. If you use one of these, it might seem a bit safer. It's still a chainsaw, it's still a chain. It's still gonna do similar damage. Now when I start, I start using one of these, which is what you might call a forestry chainsaw. That's a proper chainsaw that you'd use for felling trees big bar because I'm using big timber so I need to what you call chog out to begin with so the main danger point is this small area here I'd call it the kickback area if I if I start the chainsaw and rev it up and I just touch that log with that the chainsaw will come back at me so fast I won't be able to stop it and that's known as a kickback now it has got certain safety features it's got a break on it but the basic rule with chainsaw carving is Go on a chainsaw course. If you watch me use a chainsaw, you'll notice that I do all sorts of odd cuts. Now, if you go on a chainsaw course, you won't do any of that. I get kickbacks and it makes me wake up every time I get one. Using a chainsaw is a very quick thing. It's, it's almost too quick. You can quite easily lose the piece of wood you wanted. General rule is the first cut's the last. And many times I've gone away and looked at the photographs and gone, done it wrong and have to change plans. It's like sculpting on the fast flame. Yeah. Is it faster than inspiration? I guess sometimes the thing develops as it goes along. If there's something wrong with the timber, I have to change my idea. 
People say, what if you chop the wrong piece off? Basically, if I chop the wrong piece off, I just find another piece to use. But once the chainsaw starts, usually that takes over, because usually the images are in my head. So there will be a rough sketch, but most of it is actually invented as we go along. Like life? Like life, I guess. Yeah.